Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to see how to uh, georeference many different CAD layers all at once without having to redo all the control points. We're looking at Manifold System Release 9 and all this works in the free viewer as well so you can download the free viewer and give it a try at home. And what we've done is we've, uh, here in this uh, folder called CAD Imports, we've uh, imported a uh, bunch of CAD layers from a DWG drawing. And as you know, DWG drawings don't store uh, georeferencing information so when we pop up in the map to see all these different layers here, uh, this is a map of uh, Rome. Uh, with many different CAD layers, and here's the uh, number one drawing. There's two drawing, three drawing, four drawing, five drawing, six drawing, and so on. And uh, none of these are georeferenced. So what we're going to do is we're going to georeference them to a known good map, and in this case we're going to use a map with a uh, OpenStreetMap base layer. Uh, we could use Bing, but we're going to use the OpenStreetMap base layer because uh, it, it shows uh, roads, it shows buildings that are kind of more similar to what we see here in the CAD layer, which is a you know, CAD layers, which is pretty messy CAD drawing, but it is what it is. The way we're going to georeference this drawing, we don't have to cast it into any coordinate system or anything like that. We just take it as it is, as it imports. We're going to mark control points here with features that are also visible in the known good map here, which is in a pseudo Mercator uh, projection. And so we're going to cast all these things into pseudo Mercator projection so we can use them immediately, you know, displayed over top of, uh, you know, Google Maps or Bing Maps or whatever we want. We can always reproject them later, however, however we like. So uh, let's get right at it. And the way we're, we uh, georeference this is we're going to mark four control points. I'm only going to do four. We could do more for, for more accuracy, but I'll just do four. So with, with the focus on the map here, Roman map, I'm going to choose Edit Control Points in the cursor mode. And uh, here uh, you can see the cursor's changed into the uh, Edit Control Points uh, cursor mode. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to start ma uh, marking control points. And I'm going to put one here right about in this location there. And... Uh, why did I pick that location there? Because I think that corresponds to the visible location right here in this map. And to use the known good map, I'm going to tell it what I'm going to georegister here in the, in the register pane. I'm going to use the Roma map. And you can see it automatically loaded in that P1 control point from the Roma map. So now I'm ready to mark the equivalent control point here. Right click and zoom to zoom to drag and I'll choose edit control points. And that, that corresponds to this location right there. All right, super. I can click back to go back to the previous view here. Likewise, I'll click back to go back to the previous view. Okay, so what will I do next? Uh, let's go down here into this uh, intersection right there. And that's so obviously visible. And after all, this is just a demo. I'm going to uh, just click right there to click control point P2. And now when I click on this map here, I'm ready to click control point P2 at the same intersection right there. That's the equivalent one, so I'll put that there. All right, now where should we put the third intersection? I'm going to try for something right around here, up in this region. And uh, that looks pretty darn complicated, but let's see if we can figure it out, you know, where all this uh, goes. So I'm going to right-click and zoom. And you can see that even though I'm in edit control points, all the uh, zoom uh, and zoom box locations, zoom box commands work just fine. Here I'm going to put the control point right there. All right, that's a good spot for control point three. And the matching spot for control point three here is about there. All right, so let's uh, click back to the previous view, click back to the previous view. These are just back and forth buttons, uh, just like you would use in, uh, you know, in any uh, browser. So that's, that's how you move views around. And then here, let's try to find a location here. To uh, zoom box and manifold, you right click and drag. So let's zoom box down to here. And uh, we can see there's a, that's a pretty messy uh, array of stuff. So uh, let's see what the co corresponding uh, street layouts out here. I think my best bet is right here, this region here, which seems to be about the same spot right there. So uh, let's uh, click on the focus, click on this window here to put the focus there, and I'll put the uh, I'll put the window right here. I'll put the uh, control point rather right here, there, and now I'm going to click on this window to move the focus there, and I'll put the equivalent control point there. And notice how Manifold automatically numbers the control points for you, P1 through P4. So that's fine. That's uh, that's, uh, that marks them up, lines them up, and uh, let's go back here, zoom, zoom to fit. So now we're ready to rumble in this map window here. And what I can do is I can uh, extend this, I can open this a little bit, make this a little bit wider. Actually, move here. And uh, let's, uh, I can resize it, uh, uh, resize this. When you, when you, you can dock and undock map windows by shift clicking uh, this, uh, you know, the title caption right here. And uh, what are we going to do here in the register pane? Uh, this tells us what drawing we want to register. We can register drawing one, drawing two, whatever. And the method I'm going to use is thin plate spline. That's kind of my go-to method. I like to use that a lot. So it, tends, so it tends to appear as a default. There's plenty of others, for example, affine and all these others. But I like thin plate spline because that always matches control points automatically. If I want to see how this works, well, what I'm telling Manifolds to register the one drawing. 
a click preview to see how that's going to to go to work. And you can see the preview is a uh, is a uh, pretty darn accurate. If we want, we can right click and zoom in to see how the preview works. And uh, if we want, we can uh, we can uh, use what's what what uh, Ezra I believe calls a split or reveal. So you can see how this uh, how these things align. We can see that the uh, you know the CAD drawing seems to align remarkably well to the uh, uh, to the OpenStreetMap thing, and if we want we can do a 50% opacity, and let's make that uh, the full view, so we can see that how that uh, aligns. That looks really good. So uh, let's go back to the full view, and uh, what I'll do now, uh, click one more time for the full view, and what I'll do now is I'll click register, and that instantly registers the uh, drawing. And what it does is it creates this uh, one drawing two. It just iterates that. If I drag and drop one drawing two into this uh, map, you can see it, it appears in default formatting, which is black. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I said we could do a whole bunch of these. Uh, that's easy to do. So with the with the focus on the map here, I'll just go back here to the register pane and I'll just choose the next one I want to do right here, two drawing, and I'll click register. That's done. Go back here to the register pane, click uh, three drawing, click register. That's also done. Go back to the register pane, click. Uh, let's see what do I have left. I have four drawing to do. Click register. And you can see it's registering these instantaneously. Why? Because these aren't particularly big drawings. But even if they were, a, uh, you know, a million objects or so, it would still be astonishingly quick. And now the last one is a six drawing. Let's click register to that for that, and it's done. And I can drag and drop all these into into these um, into the map here to see uh, how they look. For example, number two drawing, there it is right there. That's all. That's perfectly geo-registered. Uh, number three drawing, likewise, is there too. This shows kind of uh, contours and, and borders boundaries and uh, let's see what the four drawing is here. There's the four drawing that shows a variety of different uh, architectural features. I have no idea where this Roman, Roman map came from or who uh, created it. It's just one of these things where you can download from the web free, uh, free places. What we're looking at here by the way is the Olympic Village uh, portion of Rome. It's in the uh, northwestern part of uh, Rome and here you can see the various uh, facilities that were created for the Olympic vi Village. So that quickly we uh, geo-registered uh, a whole bunch of CAD layers. We geo-referenced uh, one, two, three, four, five, actually one, two, three, four, five layers. And uh, I mean it's extremely easy to do. Uh, we didn't have to redo the control points. We just did control points uh, for, for one for one, one of them in, in this map. And all the layers that are in this map we can geo-register that quickly. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Tell your friends how easy Manifold it is to use. Uh, trial this out in the free viewer. And uh, thanks for watching. And goodbye from the Manifold channel. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.